we have our hands tied a little bit here. Um, you know, both Tom and Jurgen have emphasized network security, and I'm telling you what, that's that's just about all that we have outside of due diligence before you choose your particular device vendor. Um, you know, some some device vendors recognize uh, that. Uh, they can for, for, buy security, for lack of a term, for free uh, by by giving their customers the credentials to these devices, letting them do the security audits. Um, but but other vendors are just you know closed uh, closed walls when it comes to source code and things like that. So um, you know the only reliable tool that we do have is is that network level visibility. Um, so certainly uh, I'm siding with with the other two gentlemen and saying that's you know you got to have that in place. You got to have that stuff on a different network. Thanks. That helps. Jurgen, I'm hearing some talk about cloud-based predictive next-generation security. What does that mean to you, and is that something that we, as we look forward, we should be thinking about? Yeah, well, if I... If if I hear this question, uh, first of all, yeah, cloud-based, how good is cloud-based um, predictive next-generation security? And um, what else um, do we have to bring bring in place? I, I think cloud-based um, security or predictive is it's an important piece in the puzzle. Um, but we we also have to think about that uh, for the future. Um, there are threats coming towards towards the endpoint which which we haven't seen before. So, so how can we protect against these threats we have not seen before? And 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 here is um, I, I say here um, the best way is not to rely on on a threat detection. It's um, we we, should, we we have to protect the system that um, the way that we not necessarily have to detect the threat. Um, it's um, and we can we can do this for several ways. We can we can isolate specific parts in in virtual environments so that that if um, if a threat happens uh, or if an, a bad actor attacks, um, it attacks only a specific part and and this is isolated from from the system and from the data. And and we also have to, to think about um, where the cloud-based um, solution maybe cannot help uh, in in the way that that uh, yes we can um, we can detect yes uh, we might be able better to protect but at the end of the uh, the day we have to recover 